In this session we're going to continue looking at point of sale, sales, account refund. If we click on account refund at this stage we already know the data we would like to use, we know the invoice or original invoice number and we know the items that were specified or that was used on that original document. I'm going to select my data ABC services and then I have to specify the original document number. It's going to be my invoice one. Remember, you can't manipulate the date here. This is the date or the trading date of your point of sale. You can specify order number, the rep, making sure that the rep is the same rep that you've used when you process the sale. Also make sure that if you've processed this credit note exclusively, that you change it here. My original was processed inclusively. Then under code I will select the item, making sure that the unit price is correct and your quantity. If I would select an item that is not on the original document, we will tell you. So if I select an item, immediately a screen's going to come up saying this item was not on the original invoice. You can't select the option. So always be very sure that you know the items that was on the original invoice. I'm just going to backspace that. If we look at what we've got here, we've got our calculator we can use. We've got our long description item details. We can amend details. The flash report option is here. In other words, nine extra reports. And then we can choose between process and display or process and print. I'm going to choose process and display. Then we will have our credit note in our preview screen. It shows us that this one item has been processed in an account refund. In other words, we have now decreased this client's account by 114 Rand. In the next session, I will explain to you how to do the allocation.